What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we're back with some more Pirate Rumble action against the brand new challenge difficulty fight against Monkey D. Garp and his fighter squad. So remember, with these challenge difficulty quests, there are four different levels. The first two are very easy, then you move on to level three, which is like more of like a typical style team that you would normally see Garp in, and then the challenge difficulty is where Bandai go ahead and cheat, and they put a bunch of Sugo Fest exclusives onto the team, and also buff their stats so that it makes it more difficult to get through. Now, saying that, and obviously it, it is essentially cheating what they do with this team, but they kind of have to do it because everyone can just beat the normal teams anyway. But I will say this is the easiest challenge difficulty quest we have had in a very, very long time. Class-based teams are not really that good in Pirate Rumble as of right now. Uh, Color-based teams are the way to go. They always have the best synergy. They have the best characters, as at least right now. And we move on to class-based teams as we see here, and they just don't hold up. And surprisingly, this team you're seeing here, the Shooter Squad, I did use this against every single level of this GARP release, uh, against all of the different levels, and it worked great. Uh, on first attempt, on every single try, absolutely no problems whatsoever. On this team though, Kruzan and Zephyr are level 150, which give them a lot of additional stats. The level 150 doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things though, because their specials are not based off of their stats, they provide fixed damage specials but of course with level limit break they do get access to a slightly buffed stats in pirate rumble like with their rumble abilities and their rumble specials so that definitely helps out but the shooters the shooter squad is a bunch of fun to use and i'm really happy that it was able to get the job done not only that getting it done on the first attempt as well is just nuts and of course we did get the pirate rumble web recruit kizaru on today with the sugo fest with garp's release so he is a bunch of fun to use and of course we also have ben beckman lucky Wu and usopp and Yasop, which provide relatively good synergy for the rest of the shooters. It is a bit of a shame that Usopp and Yasop are not a quick or a side character because they're a dual unit, they don't get classified as a color in Rumble, so they don't get the buffs from Kruzan's Rumble ability, but still a bunch of fun to use this team in, uh, in, in the Pirate Rumble Challenge difficulty quest. <laughs> Moving on now to the secondary team of the video, and we're going to be using the Int Driven Squad. Uh, this team was actually pretty decent, it got the job done, we did get a couple of ca characters KO'd, but having access to Uta, who can continuously launch her special, do very good damage, and also uh, pretty severely reduce the amount of attack that the opposing side is able to inflict on us, and also Uta will uh, inflict CT down on the characters that she hits too, so just making sure that they don't launch their specials as often, and then of course with halving of stats with Moria and, and Yamato, it's just amazing. The Yamato that I'm using here is not my normal Yamato of course, this is just my dupe copy so there's no additional level limit break levels on this character thus far. And we do opt to use Dory and Broggy on the front line, or at least Dory specifically because he does have the ability to special bind enemies and that's very valuable. I mean to be honest you could potentially put Smoker on the front line as well. But I do like the fact that we can potentially special bind them, it actually is quite valuable to do that. Because some of the specials on the opposing side of the field are just really annoying. Like, Dungeon Jiao really, really sucks because he can uh, special reverse some of your characters that have max CT. And he can also special bind your team as well. So, uh, you know, Dungeon Jiao is pretty annoying. And then also, obviously you've got Garp and the Sengoku synergy which do the blow away and they can increase their attack every time they blow away something. Yeah, so it's a pretty annoying little team here, but surprisingly, the Int team didn't really have any issues, which is pretty awesome to see. Ending up using Blackbeard as well for defense down, and re like relatively decent damage as well. As you see, the opponent does have the Katakuri on the bench that comes on. Katakuri can definitely be a, a little bit of a problem for some individuals out there, because he does decent damage, especially with all of these buff stats, and also because he, he heals himself a lot too, so he, he, he can heal himself, which means that, you know, he's really hard to take down just overall and then of course we do have Broggy on the bench so he'll come on he'll help us out a lot towards the end of this fight but I'll leave you guys with this clip and we'll move on to the third team
Moving on now to the third team, this was the most successful team and probably the team that I think most people are going to enter this quest in being the Psy team. Now the reason why this team is so good is because there's actually like quite a lot of powerhouse related characters on the opposing side, which means that one or Law giving those debuffs is amazing, just making sure that those specials do not launch as often as they normally would, as well as providing us with really, really good CT. Once we get to a position where we're able to use the, the Rebecca and Toy Soldier to reduce their defense, we can have Odin, which hits extremely hard also with that chance of inflicting action bind is so key Yamato inflicting half stats which means that she just hits like a truck I think towards the end of this clip she does like 20,000 damage with her two hits to, uh, on, on the enemy side of the field which is just ridiculous also Luffy crew coming in super clutch here which can action bind some of the opposing characters not only that provides relatively good bulk with his uh, with his rumble ability not the best bulk like he's not a defensive unit but he gives a little bit of bulk which is kind of nice because uh, you know typically I'd replace, you know, Luffy crew with either Roger. You could use Germa if you do want that extra bulk. Probably wouldn't advise to use Germa here, but it's an option. But another reason why Luffy crew is so good, because he actually provides a healing buff to your crew. And that's really nice, because, you know, Sai at the moment don't have amazing bulk, unless if you go out of your way to use characters like the new Super Sugo Snake Man, unless if you're using, like, Bon Clay or uh, Sai Marco or something like that. But in a lot of cases, offensively speaking, you're probably not using those characters. But overall... This team was amazing, and you know, a side team with Yamato, Law, and Odin, just a core of those characters, is gonna get you, you know, pretty far into this fight. And now moving on to the most risky of the teams of the video, because this one, I, I, like honestly, I was about to quit right towards the end, and then I had a look on my bench, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I think I'll stay on and see what happens, and I ended up winning, it was very, very lucky, but I was so close, I was literally just about to click the menu button to exit out of the fight, but luckily, we pulled through and we just secured the dub. Um, I ended up, so normally, this was just my normal quick team, but instead of Tezora, I had Izo and Okiku, but of course, Izo and Okiku will only really debuff ulti, so it didn't really make a lot of sense to use them. So I ended up switching out the Izo and Okiku for the Tezora, and that worked out very well, giving us a, a lot of CT. I just wanted to make sure that we could launch our specials ASAP, like reduce their defense, health cut, damage, do as much damage as we could possibly can in the early game, just to make sure everyone gets their specials launched. And then I, I opted to put groggy monsters on the front line. Now, I don't know if that was really the best choice because they don't really do that much. They do provide a lot of damage early though, which is kind of a good thing, I suppose. So the thing is, is I wanted to make sure I could launch my specials early. And if I wanted to do that, groggy monsters make sense. For the first 30 seconds, they provide, I think it's level 11 attack total with their rumble ability, which is very good. And then I have smoothie on the bench and smoothie comes in and she was very, very useful. So smoothie on the bench, smoothie on the front line, either way would have worked great and then Dory and Broggy on the bench I think that they might be the best bench combo in the game in terms of uh, Rumble Rev recruits I know that a lot of people still like Sober Mask and he is still good for sure but if you have space for two characters using Dory and Broggy is really good because they synergize well together they'll buff each other up which is great and they both have amazing Rumble specials too so that's probably what I would suggest if you have space for two characters on your bench they work really well together but of course Kaido with his huge defense down and damage and then Akaina with his massive damage as well uh, it just kind of helped out a lot and then Tezora when he launches his special really good fixed damage and also increasing our defense further you could potentially use characters like uh, Magellan for example that would also be a relatively good option to give you some haste or further defense down if you wanted to but even if this team did fail, it was relatively close to winning. So I do know that this team, even with some very slight changes, will be able to get the job done, no doubt. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video. Oh, my God.